like the movie. Hmm. Kind of lost his head over it. Well, I warned you about the mask. I hope if any of you ever come across the mask, that you'll be careful and don't put it on. Because you see, my friends, should you do that, then... Well, hello there. <laughs> did you like the show? You did. Well, that's good. You know what? Interesting. We've got all kinds of things here in our little make-believe third-dimensional world. Skeletons and zombies and, and all kinds... Wait a minute. Oh, I'm back here. That's it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say to you that if there is, of course, any time, you'd really like to get your teeth into it, don't you, Bella? Is that your former assistant, Harry? No, I just thought you might need a friend in case you get lonely. I'm not that well, I hope you've enjoyed the movie and our excursion into the third dimension. Now, perhaps you have a better idea of what is real and what is illusion. I know, but then I'm a magician, so I can't tell you. However, there is much more to explore than we've had time for, and perhaps we can do all this again very soon. Until then, I'm Harry Blackstone. Harry, since... you can't leave me here like this. Why not? Because I want out now. Well, all right. Anything she says. Uh, since the film is over, uh, oh, thank you, I'll hold on to your mystic mask. And, uh, oh, I have an idea. Here, that's it. And, um, there. Well, we'll get you all back together again now. Here, you just hold on right up here. Right here. That's fine. Right there. That's fine. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you all straightened out here. That's better. Now then. Thank you. I feel like a new person. Oh, did I do something wrong? <laughs> Let me fix uh, it. Harry, you've done more than enough already. Thank you. <laughs> Well, until the next time we venture into this third dimensional world of the unknown, I remain Harry Blackstone. And I thank you for joining us. Say goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dear.